How ready are you for your first uh, game as a Bruin? Ready. Ready. It feels like I've you know been here five years waiting <laughs> waiting on this Saturday. Uh, got here in, in January, so uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. I know these guys are ready to go too. Have you been over to the Rose Bowl at all, or had a sense for what that might be like? Took a visit in December, um, and, and that was the first time and only time I've been up there. Um, yeah, yeah, you grew up watching the Rose Bowl game, so it'd be pretty cool to go up there and play in it. Um, I mean, playing it a couple times this fall, and hopefully playing the actual game. Uh, come January 1. So. Did somebody let you in when you went, or did you just like, go in like, the parking lot, or what was it? I went up with one of the uh, administration guys uh, here at UCLA, and they you know, let me in. I didn't have to climb any fences or anything. I would have. <laughs> I would have. But did you get to walk on the field and kind of envision things a little bit? A little bit. Yeah, I was still kind of making a decision at that point, but, I mean, you go up there and see that, it kind of makes things a little bit easier. You'd be ready for 102 degrees on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, coming from Durham, I think that has prepared me a little bit for 102. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Until you're in it, I don't know how much how much you can prepare for that. Not as much humidity here, though, right? That's, so that's true. A little bit of dry heat. Yeah. Um, yeah, but heat is heat. Day, <laughs> you have to hydrate up for that one. Uh, where do you guys, you know, after camp and, and getting ready for this game this weekend, where do you guys are right now? Coming together. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I think you kind of felt that winding down in camp last week, week and a half or so of camp. You kind of feel the team uh, gel in a way that you hadn't really felt before. Um, and then as you get into the game week, it's just preparation. You know, less going up against our own defense, more a little bit of scout team stuff, um, and preparing with you know their defensive scheme and what they're going to do on defense. Defense is our, our defense is doing the same thing. Um, but it's, it's been cool to see how this team has kind of come together. Like I said, that last week or so at camp and then into this week as well. What did you see your role as when you first, let me start over. What did you see your role as when you first got to UCLA and what do you see it as now? Um, I think it's always kind of been the same. Just come in and be a guy that, that, that one, who you guys just talked to, who Dorian can rely on. Um, that's kind of just, you know, I felt like coming in this year as an older guy um, in a relatively um, I mean, experienced room um, just to come in and be a you know, reliable receiver where, you know, if one needs somebody to go to, I can be there for him. Um, be a, you know, you know, somebody to lead on for some of the younger receivers in our, our receiver room. Um, but at the end of the day, I you know, came out here to win games. Um, and, you know, whatever I can do um, to help this team do that, I'm going to do. Um, so I didn't necessarily you know, see myself in a particular role, um, but whatever I can do to kind of help this team win is what I want to do. We saw you out on a special teams today. Is that something you volunteered for, or did they put you in that job? No, I mean, I think as a, as a football player, you, you want to be on special teams. Um, I think you know, when you start seeing yourself only as a receiver, is kind of where you get into some trouble. Um, but like I said, you know, if, if they want to throw me in there on kickoff, kickoff return, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever to get to one and out this week. There's been a lot of talk from Dorian and Coach Kelly about how you're going to be a weapon when facing man coverage and one-on-one. -on -one. What do you have to do when you're out there and you see zone, you're going against a lot of zone coverage? How are you? How do you still remain effective against those types of defenses? Yeah, I think, you know, Dorian will help a lot with that. I think in zone coverage, he's going to get a lot of eyes. Um, so, you know, as a receiver, it's just finding pockets, whether that's cover three, um, you know, some quarters, cover two, whatever it is. Um, you know, all eyes are going to be on one when he drops back and the things he can do with his legs just to be able to find open space. And, you know, if he needs to dump it off, I'll be right there for him. You know, if we have a scheme um, or a route combo that's, you know, best against zone, you know, so be it. Uh, but, I mean, when it comes to zone coverage, just man coverage. Um, I don't want to say it's the same thing, but, you know, you just got to find a way to make plays at the end of the day. Like, we're going to ask you the requisite food question. <laughs> Here what's, we go. Your, what's your newest find in Westwood Village? Anything? Not really recently. Okay. The month of August, I uh, didn't really get out a whole lot because we've been in the, in the WAS uh, three meals a day. Um, <laughs> but I will definitely let you know when I come across. Right. So, you got to get uh, that NIL deal going. That's true. Yeah. yeah, I'm working on it. I don't know if in and, uh, in and out will be up, up for that one after, uh, after that last comment. But I'll let you know. All right. Thank you.